Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm just going to show a quick video on this class trial in Shaman class. Pretty good class this, if you like angry balls. You can go to the shop and grab yourself a tier 1, this will give you the potion of enchantment, so all your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for this event only, and you grab some other cool stuff at the same time. Class trial sigils are good, class trial troops are good, as is the XP towards getting this to level 100. Now there is an okay weapon at tier 5, it is the Fire Ruby Staff, deals scatter damage, boosted my, by my attack, life and armour, and give all allies 2 to all skills. Not bad at all, but um, don't spend all those gems just to get that. If you're going to go a long way in this event anyway, and you happen to get to tier 5, fair enough, but what I'm saying is, don't spend all those gems just to get it. Um, it's an okay weapon, but you will get it for free once you've achieved 250 class wins in Shaman. Now, the funny thing about this team is, is um, we can go with exactly the same team as what we use for the world event, if we like, which is Rage Reaver. Dealing splash damage, creating a load of red gems, because we are all Taurus allies in our team. It's just going to charge up our Mechators and Gorgon. Mechator is great. It deals splash damage to an enemy boosted by its armor, and there are independent 30% chances to silence each affected enemy. Now, when you do splash damage... Um, you can sometimes create a hole in the middle. Because if you cast this on the second or third troop down, then obviously you can kill those troops in second and third place, which means splash damage no longer has an effect because it affects the adjacent enemies. And now though, there are no longer any adjacent enemies. This is where you can use Gorgon, explode a row, deals splash damage again to the first enemy, but knocks them to the back. So on the higher levels, when those enemies are surviving, you can then knock that first enemy to the back and put them side by side again where... Ordinarily, they would have been separated. So, a good way to go with that. Uh, if you don't have Gorgon, you can chuck in a third Mechator for just increased damage. Really good. And just, yeah, even these Mythics, actually not too bad at all. And this Ketris the Bull, pretty good. Anybody that does a good amount of damage, just chuck him in there. So, that is the best way to go. But I do like Mechator with this. So, basically... It's going to be a rinse and repeat of the world event team, basically. So I'll just show it a few times. Queen Mab. I'm doing this without a potion of enchantment, just to show how effective it is, sort of thing. Really easy to use this to get your weapon up. That's going to charge the team really quickly. And then just finish people off. Obviously splash damage, you'd normally hit it on the second or third opponents. He's grumpy looking. But so would you be if you had that face. So we we'll grab ourselves some brown and some blue. Cast Rage Weaver. Charge up the team. Finish off how you please. Still have the other troops ready to cast. A really good way of just getting extra XP, these events. If you've still got your Shaman class not on level 100, every little bit helps in this game. Just keep on grabbing that XP. Work it towards level 100. Another one ticked off the list that's on level 100. Let's see if we can get the old... Bulls up first this time. Let's get rid of them first, and then the splash damage will finish off the rest. Maybe. <laughs> ah, see. Always better to get Rage Reaver up first. Get those two troops that may do the main damage already, the, um, the crazy bulls. That's what I mean, you see, about the separation. I'm sort of glad that happened. Because now, this splash damage will only affect one troop. It's just become normal damage. That's why when you use the Gorgon at the bottom, it will shift those troops side by side again. Which means splash damage from your Mechators for future hits will actually generate splash damage. Chief Stronghorn! Much more impressive than Chief Weakhorn. Right, so let's look for some brown and blue. There you go. Happy days. 
Kirsch. Yeah, it's going to be pretty straightforward this. If you've done the world event team using a similar team, you'll be very used to how it works. I'm just going to do a few more battles. This is really slow at the moment and I don't want to sit there watching those gems spinning around for like five, ten seconds at a time. Is that brown match at the bottom then? It's quite a nice sunny day here today. I was sort of looking out the window thinking what I can do with my day. See, this is what I mean about the um, separation. This is a good chance to show it now. When you cast this, does damage to the first troop. Yeah, it's going to kill them, so it doesn't make any difference. So no point showing that. But if the top troop didn't die and I cast damage with this, it would have then shifted them to the back and put them in a bunch again, which means you can use your Mechators to do the full amount of splash damage. Come on, I'm pressing the button, it's so slow. I think I'm uploading your video at the same time, so maybe that's slowing it down a bit. So it's not technically the game's fault. Gear Bosch. Let's get rid of them. And finish up. Right, so you've basically seen this all before on the world event, so I'm going to call the video a, a day on this one. It's going to be super straightforward. Keep on ki killing those Val Ravens when they pop up to pick up the extra sigils and just work your way through with that splash damage and go as far as you like. It's like a really good way to pick up cheap, easy XP. So there is the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, any of those kind of things, be really cool if you... Bash that like and subscribe button, it really does help. Ooh, gave me a little bit of punishment there. Hello, got a couple of extra summons there. But let's get rid of them and finish off with them. And there's the video. And thanks for watching. And catch you again next time. Bye for now.